Looks like I was wrong. We do have one last American vlog. You're watching Ride Comparisons and today we're here at Fun Spot Kissimmee. The other day we went to Fun Spot in Orlando and um, we actually thought that that was the one that had the world's tallest sky coaster. But it's actually this one, as you can see right there. The last one was about 200 and 50 feet I believe they said didn't they yeah. and this one's 300 feet here guys this is the world's tallest now over there we've also got a wooden coaster with an inversion it's got the timber liner trains unfortunately we saw it the other day obviously we got the wrong fun spot and Jacob wanted to come here to get the cred I was a little bit tired today after Animal Kingdom so we made a deal and that is if Jacob comes on the world's tallest sky coaster or sky swing I'm just going to call it um, I'll come here and go on the wooden coaster with him. So here we go guys, Fun Spot America, wish us luck. Oh god, I can hear those jingling Timberliner trains already. Oh, it's leaking. Oh, oh it sounds, oh god. Are you sure about this? <laughs> you say it was retracked by RMC? I think so. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, here we are inside. That swing looks huge. I hope it's open, there's no one riding it. Anyway guys, now for the scary part the price okay so advertising the price there guys um she said that they only do the um the fun pass or something which was like 69 dollars or you can pay for the attractions individually so i said to her we'll do uh, two for the swing and two for the wooden coaster it came to 98 dollars and then she said if you guys get the sampler wristband and add on the sky coaster it will be the same price and we get four rides on any other attraction so let's go for it guys now we're going to start with this straight away because i don't want jacob to think about it too much jacob loves his roller coasters but he's never done anything like this before have you not even go eight no zip lines no nothing he likes coaster restraints but this is something completely different for him and at 400 feet it's the world's tallest as an impression already guys oh my god it is huge but as an impression already guys uh, you've got the nice little view of the lake there uh, i'd probably say that this fun park looks a lot better than the one in orlando doesn't it don't get me wrong the other one was good it was a nice little fun fair this one just looks better and it's got um that abomination guys you cannot see this on the gopro sometimes we do povs and we do things on the camera and it just doesn't compare to what it looks like in real life and this is one of those moments it's kind of like the first time we saw red force on the camera it looks small but when you're there it is huge guys so unfortunately i'm not going to be able to take my gopro on so this is where i leave you sky isn't with us today so she can't get an off-ride shot if there's a video i might buy it but we'll see you in just a moment Okay guys, if it works and we got the video online, then you'll see a video there. Oh my God, Jacob, what do you think? Oh, I don't know. You don't know, come on, what do you think? You know you loved it, that was insane. Oh. Jacob's, Jacob's never done anything like that before. I think that might have actually scared him. We've got some adrenaline going there. <laughs> uh, so guys, that one, compared to the one in Orlando at the other fun spot, this one is insane. The 50 feet makes a whole load of difference and you actually free fall for longer on this one before you swing oh my god guys it is insane i have bungee jumped i have skydived and i did the one the other day and out of all of them that is probably the most fun thing that i've done maybe bungee jumping it's a real tough one i'll have to sit and think on that one but that was awesome absolutely insane and i'm so glad we came and did it and now the reason we're here for jacob going over to i think it's called um, mind blower yeah here we go Oh, we got some better uh, food options at this um, fun spot. We got Cinnabon there, Jacob. You know, we know we like that from Universal, don't we? 
And we've got the go-karts again. Jacob was just saying, guys, he thinks that's the scariest thing that he has ever done. <laughs> and he also said, I forgot to add, it's actually over water, this one, which kind of adds to it. <laughs> oh, there's some other crazy other people doing it now. One thing about this one compared to the other one, guys, as well, is uh, me and Jacob got straight on. I, yeah. think, I think everybody was scared. Watch the free fall there. Because we haven't actually seen anyone else do it yet. Is quite a free fall that really is that's what we did and that was me and you a minute ago <laughs> that face says it all anyway guys time for mind blower uh, you've seen me and jacob on these sort of coasters before um we got zeus at park asterix with the timberliners uh we we went on uh thunder coaster at twos and freed i believe those are ccis uh we retracted and had those trains put on Oh, I can't say I like these ones very much, guys. And this one's got an inversion, so let's give it a go. Unfortunately, no on-ride POV, so this is the best I can get for you. Okay, so we sat at the back. What do you reckon, Jacob? <laughs> you liked it? <laughs> yeah, a bit shaky. Um, yeah, if you've been on Zeus at Park Asterix, guys, that is his just angry love child. Um, he was screaming and everything, yeah. wasn't it? Screeching. Um, I th Jacob was saying the end the end was quite smooth, so he thinks that might be the bit that was retracked by RMC. But um, the, the inversion is actually okay, guys. It's really fun. But as soon as you finish the inversion, there is a massive pothole and you just go oh. smack and it really hurts. And then it's just extreme pain for like 30 seconds. And then you get to the smooth bit. But yeah. um, it's not too bad. I'm kind of glad we came. It's, um, I, I, don't, I don't know, it's, pro it's probably one of the better ones I've been on, but it's still painful, I absolutely hate those trains, and I nearly didn't get in the ride, guys, they had to come and push the lap bar down on me, that's a first. We got one of these again, guys, what was it called, Jacob? It's an SNS Screamer Swing. SNS Screamer Swing, you think? We did one the other day at the Orlando Fun Spot. The bigger ones are better, aren't they? Like Rush. Like Rush. Oh look, you got some more crazy people going up there. <laughs> crazy, actually. <that thing. laughs> Would you ever do it again? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> one and got some good photo spots here, guys. So me and Jacob were just heading over there because there's a booster and a slingshot, but unfortunately, it's not in the park. Ah <laughs> oh, well, we can't complain. We did the world's tallest slingshot the other day, so I think that will do us for now. I wonder where the world's tallest booster is. That can't be it, surely. Anyway, for now, guys, we've got a crazy mouse coaster. Oh, there's also a bull ride there. Do you want to do that? No. no. <laughs> Jacob, Jacob's been scarred enough for one day. Okay, crazy mouse coaster. Let's go see. Galaxy Spin. Oh, we've done loads of these. I don't know if anything will be uh, Monkey Mayhem at West Midland Safari Park. Okay, that was just janky and horrible, guys. We didn't even get a good spin on it. What do you think? Yeah, that was a really, really sort of dodgy fun fair one there. Yeah. I don't know if I'll go back on that. I'm surprised that thing hasn't killed anyone. Oh my God, guys, you know how much I hate star flyers. Here's, here's just one that's unpacked. Like, look at it with its tiny little chains there. Oh my God, just the horror. Anyway, guys, as you've seen there from us walking around, there's a few little attractions, a few little sort of um, fun fair amusement park attractions. That's how sort of how these fun spots work by the looks of it, isn't it? Um, the other one had a big swing and had a wooden coaster. This one's got a wooden coaster with an inversion. A little bit more mind blowing, this one. <laughs> and obviously the world's tallest um, sky coaster. I'm still going to call it Sky Swing. And that's pretty much how these parks operate. Um, there's three fun spots. Unfortunately, we're not going to get to the other one because it's in Georgia, Atlanta. Uh, it's about a six hour drive from where we're staying and we fly home tomorrow, unfortunately. And it's an RMC. And it's an RMC, as Jacob said. So I don't know if that one's got the most attractions, but it looks like it's probably got the best roller coaster. So something to look forward to in the future. We know how to do America now. And at the end of our fun spot day and the end of our trip, we're just going to waste the last of our credits. I say waste. Enjoy the last of our credits on Mind Blower. Okay, guys, after two more goes on it, um, that's three goes in total, we sat at the front the second time, and I thought the front was actually worse. So we then sat on the back and found out that the back was actually worse. Um, I think we've both got another go or another two goes on it, but I'm not going on it again, and neither does Jacob. What do you reckon? I like it. You like it? You like it? Go back on it then. Maybe not that much. <laughs> and, and that explains it, guys. That 
is one rough roller coaster. Um, I don't want to go on it again because the last time I went on it at the back, the pothole after the inversion, something went click, and I think uh, I think if I go on it again, I'm actually going to break something. So maybe not. Maybe not. Um, guys, that is a rough roller coaster. Well, I knew about it going into it. You knew about it going into it. I didn't. I didn't hear anything about it, guys. As it goes, I just want I just want to show you the sound it makes because it just sounds like it's crying for help. Wait, you can hear it again over here, I think. You hear it on rides as well, guys. I'm pretty sure there's actually sparks. Oh. Oh. So that was our very, very last minute quick trip to uh, Fun Spot America in Kissimmee before uh, obviously we fly home tomorrow. What did you reckon? What? Was it worth coming? Yeah. Did you like the swing? Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> Are you still scarred? Yeah, I don't know what I'm more scarred from, guys. Mind blower or that swing. Um, after, after those rides, guys, I've made my mind up. I would much rather go on a ride at um, Park Asterix. I'd rather go on Zeus than go on that again. Um, Zeus, Zeus is Zeus was okay last time he went on it, but it is quite a rough roller coaster. But that thing just takes the biscuit. Um, I mean. In regards to rough roller coasters, I think the worst one we've ever done was a Valair at Wiener Prater in Austria. Uh, that one was just absolute pain, wasn't it? But that one definitely comes close, guys. That is top five most painful roller coasters. And I'm pretty sure I fractured my shoulder. Uh, my whole right side is just pain. <laughs> I'm all right, actually. You're okay. You're going to go back on it? You want to go back on it then? <laughs> just got a bit of a headache. Bit of a headache. Anyway, guys, that brings us to the end of the vlog. Um, we will do a conclusion for our trip to America, obviously. It's been absolutely fantastic. These have been like some of the best weeks of my life. I'm not even going to lie. Oh, we've got a tropical storm coming over there. We can see the lightning. That's crazy. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy today's vlog, don't forget hitting that subscribe button really helps us out. And we'll see you next time. Time. If you enjoyed the video guys, hitting that subscribe button really does help us out and don't worry, it's not the end, there's more videos here.